Namaste. Myself Ronak Manikawala presenting here some of my research finding regarding chromosome 9 QS reason involvement in infertility and spontaneous abortion. Aim and objective. The role of chromosome 9 QS reason in spontaneous abortion in infertility and chromosome abnormality in progeny. The 9QH most probably represent a duplication and inversion of heterochromatin in chromosome 9. To study duplication and inversion of chromosome 9, which might give an increased risk of abortion well as various abnormality in progeny. Now, what is exactly 9QH plus? As you can see in image, heterochromatin region of chromosome is increased in second chromosome compared to first normal chromosome. This is called polymorphism and heterochromatin region are normally considered as normal variant. Chromosome inversion is relatively common Structural alteration, the result of two break on the same chromosome followed by reinsertion of the fragment period twin. The break point at its original slide, but in the inverted order. There are two types of inversion. If both break points are on the same side of the centromere, the inversion is described as paracentric inversion and if they are both side of the centromere, then it is called pericentric inversion. Here, pericentric inversion in the image. Material and matter. Cytogenetic analysis is done by lymphocyte culture from peripheral blood taken from couple who had never conceived or having history of miscarriage. Fibroblast culture from abortus material was developed from the tissue like toe tissue, chorionic tissue, placental tissue or any other tissue. Culture process For lymphocyte culture, blood samples were collected in sodium heparin vacuum. After that, cell were washed with normal saline. After the centrifuge, medium was added and kept it for 72 hour incubation. Prior to harvesting, 3 hours before colchicine was added and metaphase preparation was done on glass side. For abortus culture, the tissue were finely chopped in media, then trypsinization was done, followed by centrifugation. Then cell will grow on medium uh, at 37 centigrade for 15 to 20 days. After 22 hours, culture where centrifuge and hypotonic solution was added in pellet for swelling of the cell so that we can get well-spreaded metaphase and then washing was done with the fixative to enhance the morphology of chromosome slide prepared by air preparation and kept for 2 to 4 hours at 30, uh, 60 degrees centigrade. This process is called aging. Staining was done by GTG bending. Metaphases were captured in microscope and analysis of chromosome. The result and discussion. We study total 54 individual in which we found 30, 31 individual with normal chromosome complement and 23 individual with chromosome abnormality in the chromosome 9. In that 23 individuals, 31 individuals with 9 QH plus and 10 individuals with inversion 9. Now, the 30 individuals who show 9 QH among them, 11 were having history of multiple spontaneous abortion while two were having primary sterility. From this individual, 
we found numerical chromosome abnormalities in the progeny of three individuals which indicate that 9 kilos plus may be increased the risk of non-disjunction during the gametogenesis and hence individuals with 9 kilos are at a high risk of having chromosome abnormality in the progeny. Now, the 10 individuals show inwards in 9. Among them, one individual have dysmorphic feature while other having multiple miscarriage. Percentage of chromosome 9 abnormality were more in male compared to female. When we observe karyotyping from product of conception of 30 individuals with 9 QH, we found numerical abnormality in 8 abortus material. Here is case 1. In this case, there was a couple who had 6 abortion. POC of 6th abortion in which chromosome finding was 47 XXY plus 9 QH plus. So, parental karyotyping was done where the mother had chromosome 9 QH plus and father was normal. So, there may be possibility of some gene are present in heterochromatium region which may have role in non disjunction process so that caused this type of abnormality in progeny. One of the case was couple who had primary sterility. So we, when karyotyping of couple was done, we found that they had 9 QS plus. So hence we can say that may be role of the 9 QS reason in this type of infertility. Here is uh, uh, case 3. In this case, the chromosome finding of POC was trisomy 16 along with 9 QH plus. So, parental karyotyping was done and we found that had 9 QH plus. Thus, there may be some genes are present in 9 QH region which may have role in the mitotic division so that this type of abnormality caused in progeny. Uh, one another case was there were, there were we got inversion chromosome 9 in POC sample. When parent karyotyping was done, percent pericentric inversion in the region of P11Q13 of chromosome 9 was found in father karyotype. So, there is possibility of some gene be affected by such kind of inversion leading to such aversion. Conclusion of study, there may be some gene present in heterochromatin region which are associated with spontaneous spermatogenesis or oogenesis, utter fertility, infertility associated gene, reproductive failure, re recurrent spontaneous aversion and even different type of chromosomal abnormality. Elongation or break even during inversion may affect in some uh, chrom euchromatic region which has a role in development spermatogenesis or oogenesis. So, this causes mitotic error during gametogenesis. So, it requires to depth study at a molecular level including sequencing or on the heterochromatin region on chromosome 9. Here is sequences. Thank you.